happy holidays. It's Stephanie with Great Cool Energy Cell, and I'm going to be doing my happy holidays countdown. So for the next 10 days, you are going to see videos from me. Make sure you hit that bell notification and stay tuned for day one. holidays friends it's Stephanie from free queens resell and if you are new to my channel thank you so much for finding me and clicking because I know there's lots of options out there on the internet and I just appreciate you giving me a small bit of your time if you are returning reseller besties thank you it means so much to me I am almost to 400 subscribers which for me is like wow 400 people like me. Um, so thank you so much for um, joining me. I am hoping to grow this channel full of positive people who are interested in reselling and growing the reselling business or just using reselling as a side hustle to get out of debt because we all want to do that. So today's video is one of 10 and 10 days of videos. Actually, I might try to do 12. I don't want to try because you know like 12 days of Christmas and the first day of Christmas so maybe I'll do 12 let's let's you know let's do 12 okay so day one is going to be me sourcing my own stuff so if you're new to my channel I am uh, in the midst of a thousand item challenge and you'll get to see the update on that tomorrow but um, in the midst of that I am sourcing like crazy, going to the bins, um, going to consignment shops, and I'm really tired. And I'm out of space. I just ordered another Ikea shelf that my husband has to go pick up tomorrow and put together. That's probably going to try to squeeze in right here behind me. Um, so I'll be like in a little reseller cave in this, this bedroom. But um, what I decided to do was I'm going to go through the bins that I have um, and especially some of the older things and go through them and decide if I want it to keep it listed, if I want to relist it, meaning it's just like an old sale listing. Um, in some cases I discovered I had things in these bins that weren't listed for whatever reason. Um, so I'm just going to do what I call like a double check and kind of source and then Pull some things to send to thread up so I will do that quickly I'll do one box with you but then I'll sort through and go through a haul at the end so you can see what I'm going to do with the items that I pull out does that sound good okay I like to go in order so I don't get confused so I'm just gonna start with a O so this is a Jamboree kids um, dress. I'm going to keep that because it's hard. I'll probably just relist it because it's hard. These are all kids clothes. These are um, Bowden, mini Bowden shorts. This is a Jamboree's girl's dress. So I'm just going to double check to make sure all this stuff is listed. This is also a kid's item. And this is a Hannah Anderson. And on Poshmark, I might just like copy and paste the listing or just like copy it and like create a new listing, relist it so that they come up fresh. But this would be a cute holiday sweater for some little boy. Um, I do have this safe wallet. I'm going to make sure that this is cross-listed to Facebook Marketplace. And, oh, here is a beanie hat. I'll definitely make sure that that is cross-listed and then this is an Under Armour um, like, uh, full zip jacket so I'm going to keep all these things I'm not going to give any any of these to thread up a because I don't think thread up would take any of these but what I am going to do is hop on my Poshmark app and double check to make sure they're all listed on Poshmark and if they are um, I am going to use list perfectly to cross list them to the other platforms so we can get some of these things moving 
and I'm going to go through all these boxes and repeat this process one at a time. So this might not all get done in today, but I will definitely uh, do a few and have a little haul for you in a moment. So I'll be right back. Okay, friends, so I'm back. I gone through, I didn't get through all those boxes that I overestimated the project. So that's going to take me a time, a little bit of time, but I will show you what I did go through and what I'm going to do with the products. So I have this stack and this stack. These are items that are going to go to thread up. So I pulled up each listing, I looked at the comps, and if it was under 30, I decided that I could let it go. So these are all like lower level things, and I have about see, four more thread up labels that I can use that I have not used. So I'm going to send off a lower um, dollar items. So these are items that were either given to me on consignment and their consignment time has run out and they never pick them up. Um, a lot of Old Navy, Forever 21, JC Penny brands, Victoria's Secret Pink Basics. So I am going to send those to thread up and see what I can get, if I can get anything. Um, so these are things that I'm really not that concerned about anymore. I would rather have the space in my bins for new items. And then <laughs> these are items that were in inventory in the boxes, but were not listed for whatever reason. So I'm going to do a quick haul of those. If you're interested, please um, leave me a comment because I read all the comments and I will get them, get it out um, with an offer that includes shipping. I'm adjusting myself so I can show you. So this is a Jamboree dress. Jamboree is not in business anymore. It might be a catalog brand, but there are no Jamboree-like stores here in Central Indiana, and that was my go-to for my little girls. Um, it has pockets, um, so we shall see, get that listed, because there's still a market for kids' clothes. Um, these adorable little mini bow, that dress is a size 5, by the way. These are adorable um, three youth mini Bowden girl shorts. So I was wondering why these never sold. It's because I didn't list them. I don't know. Sometimes I do weird things and get out of order. Here's another jamboree dress. So this would be perfect for spring. It is also a size five. Striped little zip up back dress. It's lined. Um, this is a medium petite loft, semi sheer, nice, let me get it together here, career shirt, collared career button down. So these are all items that I thought worth keeping. Let me get them listed and, uh, see what I can get. And this is a Lilla P um, dress, summer dress. It's lightweight rayon, I believe. Um, this is a men's shirt. It is Giorgio Ibani. Um, thread, I would send this to, to Thread Up if Thread Up took men's things. But um, I'm going to get this listed and... Um, Make sure I put it on Grailed as well as Poshmark because Grailed and it specializes just in men's items. So this is just Maurice's, but it was not listed and it's a cute top and it's plus size. So um, Dolan sleeve floral print. I thought it'd be cute for spring. So I'm going to get that listed. So this top. Um, was listed. It sold on Poshmark. I couldn't find it. Um, so I never relisted it. And so I found it and I'm going to relist it and hopefully it will sell again. It's um, Babadoo, which I 
think it's just like a boutique -y brand. I'm not really sure where it's sold. Same situation with these. Um, these are Under Armour, like, booty shorts. They are a size... I believe they're like a small. Small. But yeah. Um, they sold. I couldn't find them. And my this is right when my husband took over doing inventory. And he had them on the spreadsheet as heat gear. That's why I couldn't find them instead of Under Armour. When they're Under Armour heat gear. So um, I'm going to get them relisted. And get them in inventory uh these are sam edelman they are a size i believe they're size nine Let's look it up. But at any rate this nine and a half medium um this shoe so what what happened is that these sold and somehow I messed up the label. I printed two labels and I put this label, the wrong label on these and sent these to the wrong person. I printed that label twice so the other person actually got their item, but these were a mistake. And so I'm gonna get them relisted because of course they opened up a case and they came back to me and I'll get these relisted, get some new photos because now we have feet models. We have those plastic feet to go in shoes like these. So you can really see the detail and we should be able to get some awesome photos of these. And so these guys, their story, I just fixed the listing. Um, I had them listed under Kugel Barrel instead of UGG. So I relisted them. I just redid the listing and changed them to UGGs. These are a girl's one. A girl's one. So hopefully these will get down that they're under UGGs. That will be more sought after in the search. And I should be able to get these sold. Hopefully make 25, 30 bucks off of them. So these are already relisted. So I'm going to put them over here so that my husband doesn't get confused and we list them twice. Um, these are Skechers and they are not listed either. I picked these up at a yard sale two summers ago. I don't know why all this time I thought that these were listed. So I will put this in the stack for them to get listed. I don't know how I, I move up, slip over things, but that's part of me going full-time. So all these mistakes happened when I was part-time and I do resell full-time. I do have another job to supplement as I'm growing this resale business, but I do spend all, a lot of time on the resale business and my husband is helping me. And one of the things that we are really working on are to streamline our processes so we don't lose things or forget to list things or things get go missing. So that's another reason why I wanted to go through each of my inventory boxes as we move on into the new year and clean up any mistakes like this because this is a good amount of stuff to have in inventory and not have listed um, and think that I do have listed. So that basket were the things that were not listed um, that need to be listed. So that's what that is. So we had the stack of stuff that I pulled that was listed. I had to delete those listings and send them to, I'm going to send them to thread up. Now the next box is the items that, um, I relisted. So I, I'm not going to open them all up again, but this is an Under Armour full zip um, jacket. It's black. It's a size large. I had it listed as a woman's. It is actually a men's, so I cor corrected that. I redid the listing and corrected that, so hopefully that will get this sold because I was like, and that, again, I'm like, why aren't things selling? 
Um, so that was that. This is one of those, I can take some of these smaller things out. I was being lazy. I didn't want to refold. This is a Safekeeper wallet, and it's in really good condition. It's leather. I mean, it does have a few signs of wear, but um, I relisted this, copied the listing, and just relisted it on Poshmark um, for $20. I just decided that I wanted to hang on to it, um, and I will use my list perfectly to cross-list that to other sites. Um, this guy was another missed listing. So this is just a wigwam knit hat with pom-pom, perfect for this season. And um, it was listed under men's, and it is a woman's piece. So I cleaned up the listing, changed that to get it relisted so that a woman can find it. Okay, this shirt is a kid's shirt. A lot of my kids' pieces I thought I had listed, they it was not. Um, this is in like new condition. It says, I love learning. I bought this for Jackie, but she never wore it. And it's an H&M piece. And um, I, what did I do with this one? Oh, it had sold and I couldn't find it. So I found it and I copied that old listing and got it relisted. So, in this, what I've discovered when I was doing this project already is that I need to develop um, a process for when things are returned um, because I don't know what I do with them. I, I They're all over the place. So, I need to develop a process for that. And I need to make sure, clean up our um, inventory spreadsheet. Like, H&M is on their h and like the word and spelled out M as well as H and the and symbol M. So there's different spaces. So as we move into um, the new year, I would definitely want to work on cleaning those things up so we can be more efficient and definitely find things of this uh, pile. There are three things that I had to cancel the sale over the past year because I couldn't find it. And I knew it was an in inventory, but when you have close to 2,000 items in inventory at this point, um, and an inventory that revolves um, constantly, I don't have the time to search for things if I can't find it. My husband is um, the find it item, lost item whisperer, and so he has his inventory sheets that he writes things down on, so we've been able to find things. Um, now, if I can't find it, I shoot him a picture of it. He's in the other room, but I shoot him a, a picture of it, and I'm like, find this. But that doesn't work for the inventory that I did two years previous when I was just working by myself. So, next thing is this cute Hannah Anderson sweater. I just, I know it's hard to see with the glare. It's got um, a Fair Isles print on it. It's a boy's size 100. Um, I just relisted it because I felt like it was perfect for the season and it had dropped down quite a bit through closet clearouts over the past year. So I just relisted it, used the same photos and everything. Um, so hopefully that gets some new energy. And then last but not least, um, I just found these cuties. These are just little kitty toms. And I thought they were listed, but they were not. So I got them listed. I have photos for them. I don't know why. So all the things that um, I missed listing or whatever, I am. They're on Poshmark now. The one items that I just showed you, they're on Poshmark now, and they will be. I will use list perfectly to cross list them over to other platforms. So. And just doing like four boxes, I came up with all of this. So I definitely think um, that this is a project that I need to dedicate a little bit of time to every day. Um, so instead of really focusing on sourcing brand new items, I'm going to focus on getting, making sure everything that I currently have is listed 
and it's cross-listed on all the other sites. Um, I still have my thousand item challenge, so I am going to finish that up here in the next week. Pray for me because I'm tired. I am tired of sourcing and listing. <laughs> so, but um, I want to finish what I started and get through that challenge and then um, continue on reselling. So that's it to, for day one of my holiday 12 days of Christmas videos. I hope you enjoyed it and you found value in spending a little bit of time with me. I am a part uh, full-time reseller and I do work another job full-time. Uh, so I'm super busy, but I definitely enjoy making these videos. If you um, don't mind, I would appreciate it if you gave me a thumbs up so and left a comment um, so that other people can find me. The more interaction that I have with my videos, the more YouTube likes that and the more it pushes it out to other people who are interested in reselling. Like I said, I am a just getting started on full time. I've been reselling part time. So I hope that you can grow with me and watch me grow in this journey. Until next time, thank you so much for joining me. Bye.